Hello, this is a review on the Rosetta Stone iOS application. The screen will mainly be like this, so you don't really need the video. I like to point out the very bad points of Rosetta Stone that are preventing me from actually studying with it. Point number one, let's say you opened the, you started the app, you loaded the app, you logged into your account, and now you have the screen of Rosetta Stone, and then you close the app because, I don't know, maybe you want to set an alarm for the next day, and then you reopen the app, not reopen but like you know double click on the home button and select the app then you have an about let's say 10 to 15 second loading period for, for like no reason you just have to wait 10 to 15 seconds so every time when you reopen the app you have to wait this amount of time and then next point is very important you have the offline mode which is apparently not made for offline mode so you have the offline mode to, to download materials offline but you randomly get logged out of Rosetta Stone and you need to be online to log in. So imagine you you download all your stuff for the offline mode, then you, I don't know, go on a travel and you maybe don't have Wi-Fi there and then you want to study and then bam, your Rosetta Stone logs out and you have no way of studying because you cannot log in because you don't have any Wi-Fi because the offline mode doesn't work. Now you might think, well, that's just a bug that's going to be fixed. Well, this is what I thought, so I wrote a letter to, I wrote an email to Rosetta Stone and said, well, you have a problem, the offline mode is not really working. And then they said, well, the offline mode, if you want to know how the offline mode works, uh, look at this material. Which means basically they didn't read my email, they just gave me a, a random email answer. And I said, well, no, you didn't understand me, I'm, I'm reporting a bug to you. And then they explained to me why this is actually not a bug, but this is actually a feature that the offline mode is not really working. And oh, and of course, the offline mode is not syncing com correctly. That means if you are in offline mode, you don't get logged out, and you have you 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 finish some lessons, and then you log in online. You you went you go back to online mode. Then actually, what you did is not recorded. And you fall back like it's it's like you've never did that stuff. I also recorded that and they said, no, that's not happening. And I said, well, it's happening <laughs> in my iPad. I have a I have a proof video. I sent them a video and they said, no, that's not happening. So speaking of that, the support is also very, very poor and yeah, bad. I'm actually, I think actually they're not English native speakers. I think it's like they outsource that to a very cheap company. Then I went to the mother company of Rosetta Stone, but they like didn't show any interest in my inquiry. Okay, but let's say okay, let's say the offline mode. Okay, sometimes you don't get logged out, so that's okay for you. And well, if the syncing doesn't work, that's okay for you too. If you are navigating through the app, then you will figure out that it's actually very very slow. Uh, for one to navigate from one lesson to another is very slow. It's very slow to open the lesson, the lessons, but it's also very slow from like one learning screen to the next. So one lesson has, I don't know, 10 different screens and to go from one screen to the other is actually a very slow thing. And every time when you hit, when you have a correct answer, you have this pring which takes about, I don't know, two to three seconds, which is nice at the beginning, but like after a week of studying, that's just annoying, you don't need that. I don't, I just want, I personally just want to go bam, 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 and go through that stuff. But you have to wait for the sound to finish and then you have to wait for the next screen to load, which is also taking up um, two, two to three seconds, I guess. And that adds up. And I found out, I found myself in the end, like spending maybe, 30 to 40 percent of the time just waiting for the app to work and now you could say well don't, don't use the iOS app use the, the, the internet app use the web app and well no 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 same problem I think it's the same base the same code base it's, it's exactly the same problem you also have to wait for that stuff and uh, another very important problem for me was that you have this is actually very nice on the iOS app that you um, I don't know how you call that. It's, it's not like the learning mode, but it's the repetition mode, I would say. You just see a picture and you hear some voice for that. For example, you see an apple and you hear an apple. And then you see the next picture and you can learn through that. That's a, actually a very nice thing. Also because it's very easy to record and put into Anki. But you have the problem that this is only for the, IO, uh, for, for the app. I don't know about the Android app, but... 
this is not available on the web app. When you go to the in, on the internet and try to check the same feature, then you will figure out on the internet you only have the audio, you don't have the pictures. That means, well, if you don't already know the word, you, you, you can't really study with that because if you don't know what something means, then even if you hear it, you have no idea what it means, right? Also that, like about one year ago, I told them, well, it would be nice to have that feature also available online. And they said, well, we will see what we can do. And it didn't change. To sum everything up, I think actually Rosetta Stone has a very, very nice database, a very nice picture base, a very nice audio base. But their programming skills is so bad that I cannot really recommend Rosetta Stone, especially not at this point. And I think my rant should stop here. Thank you very much for listening.